Hi, I'm Alexander. And previously we have deployed hosted Blazor web assemblies to the Azure web applications on Windows. And today we will do the same, but uh, for web applications on Linux. Steps are quite similar. Also, let's check only the difference. Uh, firstly, we need to go and uh, update our uh, build YAML file a bit. YAML Linux single file off. Uh, put Ubuntu latest, Linux x64. And uh, as we have added uh, a published single file setting into our project file, here we need to switch it off. Let's run our build and go and create the application all the steps will be completely the same except one thing here we need to choose a linux also we choose a resource group give some name Uh, here we left code, runtime stack the same, did not 7, and choose Linux. Uh, select a region. And choose some pricing plan as you need. Also, you should be aware that uh, you cannot share the pricing plan for Windows and Linux. You should create a separate plan for Windows web applications and for Linux. And then for each of them, you could create a multiple applications and uh, share the same pricing plan. Also, pricing plan uh, depend on the region. Uh, here, as you could see, in West Europe, I already have created a pricing plan. And uh, if I change it, uh, then I need to create one more. Of course, I create uh, multiply uh, free plans uh, for different regions, but let's continue with all of the created. Fine. And uh, that is uh, already created uh, web application on Linux. You could see this here. And let's check our build. Build was uh, completed successfully. Now we go to release. Uh, native code Linux into off. Good. What is inside? We have added artifacts here. From appropriate build pipeline. This uh, here, agent job. I'm using uh, Azure Pipelines agent pool, and I choose Ubuntu latest. Then I have added uh, Azure App Service Deploy task. Uh, here we switch to web apps on linux then it will show you your web application uh, select artifacts here you could see a lot of files because it is not a single file mode uh, runtime stack and uh, startup command you should left uh, empty uh, by default of course it could be uh, some situation when you need to change it, but by default, with uh, default settings, left it empty. Create a release. Uh, release. Uh, this is quite fast process because it just copy files to the uh, disk. Release completed successfully. Uh, here we could check that it lasts only for 54 seconds. 
less than one minute. And uh, let's sure that all files were delivered successfully. Uh, to do this, you could uh, scroll down the left menu and go to advanced tools. Here you could use SSH or bash as you wish. Uh, the same structure of files and folders as uh, Windows pop-ups. Cool, and we could see that uh, it contains a lot of files uh, as we expected. And also we have so much files because uh, it is uh, framework independent, yeah. Also it uh, copy all the DLLs which it need to run. Go back, overview, and let's go to our application. Everything works fine, quite fast. Have a nice day.